Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the rate of fluid flowing through this rough pipe which is made up of cast iron. And it is attached to the two reservoirs whose the level difference of fluid is also given. So if we observe here, the flow through the pipe is turbulent flow. Now, in the question, it is also given that how to calculate the friction factor. So, friction factor for a turbulent flow through a rough pipe is given by kerman prandtl equation. And it is 1 upon root f which is equal to 2 log to the base 10 r0 by k plus 1.74. Where r0 is the radius, k is the average roughness. And here F is the friction factor. Now I will read what is the given question. Two reservoirs with a surface level difference of 20 meters are to be connected by 1 meter diameter pipe 6 kilometer long. What will be the discharge when a cast iron pipe of roughness K is equal to 0.3 millimeter is used? neglect all local losses. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the diagram as per given data. Now if we observe here the pipe made up of cast iron is the rough pipe and it is attached to the two reservoirs and whose the difference in between the level of fluid is given. So we can say that what is the level of the fluid for the first reservoir we will take here the center of pipe and from the center of pipe the level is H1 and for the second reservoir from the center of pipe the level is H2. Now here this difference is given that is H1 minus H2 is equal to 20 meter. Now the pipe is having diameter 1 meter and this length of the pipe is also given that is 6 kilometer. So what is the standard unit? That is meter. So we have to convert it into meter that is equal to 6000 meter. Now from this diameter we have to calculate the radius R0 because to calculate the friction factor here R0 is taken. So here R0 is equal to 0 0.5 meter. Now if we observe here, average roughness that is the value of K for the cast iron is also given but it is in millimeter that is 0 0.3 millimeter. So we have to also convert this R0 in millimeter that is 500 millimeter. So when we put all the values in this formula, we have to calculate this friction factor F. So how to calculate? So with the help of the calculator, so I will write here. 1 upon root f is equal to 2 into log to the base 10 r0 by k. So r0 by k is 500 divided by 0 0.3. So in calculator we have to take that is 1666.6. Now we have to take log for this. So we have to press log to the answer that is 3.22 multiplied by 2. So again we have to multiply here with 2 and we have to add here plus 1.74. So here answer is 8.1837. So we have to write here on the right hand side the answer is 8.1837 that is the value of 1 by root f. But now we have to find out what is f that is the friction factor. So again we will take this f towards the right hand side and this 8.1837 to the left hand side and we will take the square on both sides. So f is equal to 1 by 8.1837 square which is equal to 0 0.0149. So this is the value of f and this is the friction factor. So I will write here this is the friction factor. Now in this question it is mentioned that ignore all local losses because here the length of pipe is so long that's why there is the losses due to friction that is taking place. So if we observe here losses due to friction is taking place so we can say that head loss due to friction HF is equal to. So how to calculate here 
so here friction factor is given so we have formula f l v square by 2 g d so remember that here is only f when there is the coefficient of friction then we have to take the 4 f so for the friction factor f l v square by 2 g d so what is the value of f that we have to put then length l 6000 v that is unknown so what is the velocity of the flow in the pipe that is unknown divided by 2 into 9.81 into d that is 1 now what is the head loss due to friction so that is the difference in this elevation that is h1 minus h2 and that is given 20 meter so we have to take here so if we observe all the dimensions are in meter so when we calculate v we will get the answer in meter per second so v is equal to 2.095 meter per second now what is the discharge q so discharge q in the pipe q is equal to area multiplied by velocity that is area of the pipe so what is area of the pipe pi by 4 d square that is pi by 4 into 1 square multiplied by velocity v so q is equal to 1.655 meter cube per second and this is the answer